I'm Andy Schlotter, Vice President of Facilities Management and Planning here at Bennington College. Today we're going to lead you on a tour through the new southeast wing of the barn, which represents the latest chapter in the evolution of a building that has been growing and changing with Bennington since the first days of the college. In April of 2019, a fire destroyed much of this wing of the building. In its aftermath, we reimagined this section of the barn as a new front door to campus, a space of welcome and exchange for visitors and the Bennington community as a whole. It still looks and feels like the same barn from the outside, but on the inside we've made some changes that will make the barn more accessible, more welcoming, more sustainable, and more vibrant than ever as it enters into its second century at the center of everything we do here at Bennington. The Andrew Schwartz Parlor is the first space you see upon entering the southeast wing. We imagine it as the social center of the barn, a sort of campus living room. The space features large timber trusses that are original to the building, but had been hidden for decades behind a dropped ceiling, along with lots of daylight from the massive windows that match the size and location of the original windows. The Office of Admissions will move from Cricket Hill back to the barn into a new space north of the parlor, featuring reception and meeting spaces, along with offices for the entire admissions team. The reception desk was crafted by our buildings and grounds team from pine beams salvaged from the original structure. The north end of the new wing intersects with the existing barn corridor, where we can get a sense of the transition from old to new. The maple floors of the old building are darkened and worn with age. The maple flooring of the new wing will look that way in 90 more years. A new gallery space supports installations of student work while doubling as the lobby for a new elevator, which will make the entire barn accessible for the first time ever. A commemorative sign at the threshold to the northern entrance, made from maple salvaged from the Commons renovation several years ago, features the names of over 500 members of the Bennington community who helped make this project possible through their generous donations. The northern stair spirals around a triple height opening connecting all three levels of the barn and features a platform for art installations along the upper stair run. A salvaged window from the original building is installed high on the wall as an artifact of the barn's history. The second floor corridor is populated by faculty offices and includes several lounge spaces designed for study, conversation, and collaboration. Two of these lounges overlook the first floor corridor and capture views of the barn quad through massive double height windows. At the end of the second floor corridor, a large conference space for admissions information sessions overlooks the parlor and gives a close-up view of the salvaged timber trusses and a distant view of the campus through the parlor windows. The main stair, constructed of steel and wood with massive timber treads, creates an open connection between all the main spaces of the barn. It descends through the parlor and down to the lower level, where a new state-of-the-art classroom featuring a wood slat ceiling and reconfigurable furnishings ensures that teaching continues to be a key part of life in the barn. After three years of design and construction, we're excited to open the doors of the barn once again and open it to the community. My name is Nick Stevens. I'm a 1977 graduate of Bennington. An interesting thing that happened here was in 1974, a spring evening, and suddenly Patti Smith and her group appeared in a little theater that was in this wing and played about an hour, and it was pretty amazing. It was one of the first times she'd played anywhere. It was pretty, pretty incredible. We needed to rebuild the whole barn, but we guess we're taking it one wing at a time. And it was actually quite important to get this wing rebuilt after the fire because it's the first thing people see when they get on the campus. And I'm sitting here just amazed by how great this looks. It's really, really impressive. My name is Susan Paris Borden. I was in the class of 69. I took a lot of my classes in the barn, although my real memory of it is more the sense of it. It was a kind of a cornucopia, really. Just remarkable faculty many of whom taught, of course, in the classrooms here, but that's not what I remember as much as the corridors between their offices. But you could always drop in, even if you weren't taking a class with somebody. The chance for that interaction has been maintained as we've redone this building. This feels to me now like another making space. It's an exciting time. I'm delighted to still be part of the team. Charlene Schwartz. I graduated in 1954. The barn means a lot to me. 
but it meant a lot to everybody who was at the school at the time. And one of the things is astounding for us is how the school has developed. Because when I went to Mennington, the only thing that existed was the barn, Jennings if you had an, a music or an art course, the carriage barn for community meetings, and commons where the post office was, and lunch and dinner. There were no other buildings. All of our classes were in the barn. The barn was where you studied science. The barn was where the bookstore was. We had no library. The library was in the barn. So the barn was kind of everything to all of us. I want to make sure that this barn is integral, intrinsic to the college, because it should be. The beginning philosophy of feeling freedom to think, getting the best education you could possibly get, all of that originated at the barn. When I think of Bennington, it doesn't need to be more than the barn. In 1932, Bennington College was built around a literal barn, this building, which had been constructed in the previous century to house sheep, cows, and horses. As the college grew, the barn was adapted to serve different needs. A library, classroom, science labs, a bookstore, performance stages, exhibit spaces, faculty offices. It was always a gathering place. This year, we mark the reopening of this barn, both part of our history and part of our future. As we reopen the barn after the 2019 fire, we imagine what the space will hold in the future. The insights students will find in classrooms, the conversations in faculty offices, the artwork hung on the walls. High schoolers will visit to learn more about this magical college. Students will linger and have time to think. They will create memories much the same way our alumni have for the last 90 years in a stunning space now made new. The renovated barn reminds us of what came before and how we can adapt in a way that preserves tradition and boldly moves into the future. We look forward to welcoming you here soon.